the name's Donna, Donna Medicati, but you can call me Don or Don Juan. I'm your private dick, a private dancer, dancer for money. My life was just one sexy song lyric after another. Donna Manicotti, Dyke Detective, is a sexually suggestive, cheeky, yet dark, satirical, film noir, 30-minute TV comedy about a butch lesbian detective sex addict haunted by the ghost of her murdered girlfriend who battles a sexy prescription drug dealer while solving mysteries in a modern-day West Hollywood. Like my comic book, it's a tease for the senses, a world of wordplay, sexual innuendo, lilting saxophone, saturated color, and mysterious shadows. The series could be adult animation, edgy live action, or a combination of both. If Sin City and The L Word had a comedy baby. It was a cold, dark night. My loneliness hung in the air like the thick, moist fog clinging to my skin. It was raining cats and dogs, and my pussy was wet. Donna Manicotti is a charismatic loner who uses sex to mask her pain and deep longing for love. Just Jen is her elf-like sex toy weapons expert, formerly employed by Santa Monica, a Beverly Hills drug dealer, Donna's nemesis, and secret desire. In the pilot, Hollywood Homicide, Donna falls for Coma Lee Sparks, suspected of beating her producer husband to death with an Oscar statue. A flower vase leads Donna to a very busy casting couch, a soap opera actress, and a drug lace flower food packet. With the help of an open-hearted medical examiner, Alexandra Samata, a gay wing man, Wang Kong, who moves quicker than a rabbit on the end of a vibrator, a strap-on, a vibrating bullet, and some flying nipple clamps, Donna gets coma off in more ways than one. In the end, Donna ends up, once again, alone. I scraped my heart off the pavement, pushed my feelings down onto my toes, and walked away. Cue saxophone, fade to black.